what else will it matter? Yeah, bring the hype by wearing six t-shirts. And speaking of hype, let's go ahead and watch what's going to be happening here for the main event. Let's check it out. Player as well. Party Wolves, one of my favorite players, and that's all that matters. <laughs> my eyes are on Party Wolves. I mean, it was crazy domination. Bringing that heat, bringing that action. Non-stop, relentless aggression from Party Wolves. Plus frames. Here we go. Lean on the pressure pick. And that's oh gonna punish. God. And that's gonna do it. They're Party Wolves taking it to oh, just like that. Taking that W. It's it's insane already at this point. And speaking of insane, we have Sane. Sands are playing extremely crisp. It's solid defense, solid offense. Sing me a sweet song of Sane. Grabs on deck. Mix-ups on deck. Ten catches on deck. He just activated insane mode. Yo, my man Real Sane fast. definitely just bopped him on the head. Like, what's good? There you go. Party Wolf versus Sane. Party Wolf, who we saw yesterday as the final boss of the open tournament for US East. And Sane, a beastly competitor, taking home incredible wins, incredible placements over the course of Soul Calibur 6's lifetime. And the man who quit Soul Calibur for a day and then came back immediately after. <laughs> You know, Sane, I, I haven't seen Sane play in a while. You know, the last time I really uh, was able to enjoy uh, Sane's gameplay was when he was uh, fighting off against Party Wolf, coincidentally enough, at the last chance qualifier for the Soul Calibur World Invitational. That was a fun-filled day of Soul Calibur action, of course. And uh, he ended up losing to Party Wolf uh, in a very close set. But again, this is a run back. This is going to be interesting because I don't even think these guys play the same characters from what we saw last time. Last time we saw it was Killick versus Ivy. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, we already know that Party Wolf prefers Cassandra from last night and from his performance in a bunch of tournaments that we've had since then. Um, but Sane, Ivy player, might be a bit of a surprise for you. Well, speaking of surprise, maybe I should say not a surprise. Astro Gaming is back for another year supporting the Soul Calibur Online Challenge as the official headset and the mix app. And this year, Astro Gaming will be providing top three for our open event tournaments with Astro products and custom merchandise. So everyone that got top three yesterday will be getting some awesome Astro gear. Uh, but not only that, our future Soul Calibur Online Challenge events will also be uh, gifted those awesome uh, products as well. So lots of love to Astro Gaming. Thank you for supporting Soul Calibur and the fighting game community. Uh, All right. Yeah, indeed. So um, we've got some interviews Ooh, yeah. to go up between Party Wolf and Sane. We've had two sets of interviews so far. One, quite wholesome. The second, quite trash talky. Let's see what this third one's going to be. Let's check it out. So I haven't played Sane in quite a long time. Last time I played him was at the Last Chance Qualifiers. I actually beat him in the, in the finals to make it into the Invitational. I feel like I dropped the win there. I felt like I had that win. I was overconfident. I know that I'm capable of beating him. I just can't be overconfident in the match. I'm excited. I'm I'm happy that you guys not only chose this match, you guys made it in a first to seven, so you guys remember. Back then, I was primarily using Helic, and this was like in season one. Season two's been out for quite a while now. I really don't know what to expect, especially since one, I don't play Keelik anymore and I play Cassandra way, way more than I play Keelik. I don't think he uses Ivy as much either. I've seen him using Setsuka lately. I am probably going to use Cassandra. I just am going to play some games and then maybe check out his stream. I, I haven't seen uh, him too much and I think that'd be good to, to, to be nosy a little bit. I actually have been playing Keelik lately, so I'm going to um... Definitely relap Keela Cassandra and some Grow because I know he plays Grow. And even Aswell, he might even do the Aswell thing. Uh, the last time I played Sane was at the Last Chance Qualifier um, for the World Play Invitational, and I, I won with Gaelic. I played him in a Boominati League, I believe, back in February, and it. <laughs> I lost. I, it got. I think he beat me in the winners finals and it was close uh, and I thought I was gonna just take it so I can just not worry about having to reset the, set the bracket and I ended up going to losers winning my losers finals match and then going to play party wolf and I was unable to even close in on a reset of bracket it was very difficult and yeah I was a little bit frustrated I wanted to reset the bracket and see if I could um, bring it back I feel like when I play Sane, I, I can see like the mentality switches because it's not like it's not like he's focusing on all of them at the same time. He's like trying to individually do them. 
Um, and I think I have a pretty good uh, idea of when he switches. One thing that was his one weakness is that he could not break command grabs, and he fixed his game completely. Not only does he break them now, which happened at the Invitational last year, he was ducking them. So I will have to definitely, if I'm going in for a grab, make sure that he's not going to duck or he's not aware of it. Like all the times we played in tournament, uh, in like longer sessions, I have come out on top. I think that's, uh, it probably is in my favor. He has only played me in shorter sets and he's only seen me beat him in bursts of energy. Like let's say when I win, usually the match goes by really quickly, but we haven't been in a very long set. I'm not sure, but I think Saint's a good player, so I want to say it'll be a close set. Maybe like, um, 7-5, me? I'm, I'm seeing 5-7, my favorite. Uh, same. I am expecting good matches, and I, whether I win or lose, I expect you to say, wow, 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 wow. Because that's, yeah, that's what you do, so. <laughs> I hope he comes prepared, and I hope he doesn't play Grow. Don't play Grow. <laughs> do not, do not do not play Grow. I'm not ready for that. Well, there you have it. 5-7 on each side. A solid prediction from both competitors. And Sane doesn't want Party Wolf to play Grow. Very, wow, very wow, 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 wow. <laughs> well, um, first and foremost, uh, they, they both had the same prediction, which is awesome, right? Uh, mm -hmm. That just means we're probably going to be wrong again. But I got to <laughs> before we have our predictions, let's see what the what did the community think. You know, this is obviously uh, the main event. Let's see what the community had to say about where they predict this is going to go. Wow, this is much closer than I thought it would be. Much almost closer. Almost down the middle, yeah. almost down the middle, but slightly in favor of Party Wolf. Interesting uh, to see. I'm kind of... I'm kind of surprised and not at the same time because we have way more exposure to Party Wolf. You know, he streams, he competes a lot. Whereas Sane, like you say, has taken a bit of a backseat, a bit of a break from Soul Calibur 6 and competing in general. Um, but, you know, people remember his legacy. They remember how good he is. So, I mean, if the audience are going to say it's 50 50 and the competitors say that it's going to yep. be 5 7 7 5 in each other's favor, I'm going to say it's going to be 7-4 in Party Wolf's favor. Interesting. So you think Party Wolf's going to take it. Well, this is going to be our first difference of opinion because I am thinking that Sane is going to take it. Okay. Five. Uh, it'll be 7-5. to five. Okay, so you're going with Sane's actual prediction of 7-5. Yes. Okay. I if see. I'm going to be right, I want to be right with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're going to be right with somebody else, make it be the competitor who you think is going to win, right? Gotta That's like have, extra, extra clout for that prediction. Gotta have faith. But we are getting ready with the matchup, guys. This should be a treat. I, I really don't know which characters are going to be picked from the outset. We both know that they mentioned Cassandra. Mm -hmm. So that's what I think we might see at the very start. But because it's a longer set and the nature of a longer set, you have more time to adjust and play around and really test your opponent. So these guys have no need that they will be playing at each other uh, for quite some time now. So that led them... Uh, some time to prep even after the interviews gave him more time to prep so we'll see how this is going to play out as we go into the character select screen and have them pick their characters let's do it i wonder if party wolf is actually going to go and pick grow now after saying explicitly asked him not to it would be great if he did just to see the mind games at play but who knows they're letting that timer count down this is going to be suspenseful what does everybody think are they going to pick uh pick their mains are we going to see a cassandra versus cassandra maybe maybe we'll see I just a hope I just hope we get a good stage. I want to see some chaos. Knock him out of the ring. No, no, all walls. I want to see ring outs. I want to see chaos. Let's, I mean, uh, chaos is definitely what we're going to get. I mean, if there's if there is one stage that you had to play on for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, uh, probably windswept, windswept planes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a I, I hate to be so normal also. and vanilla there, but oh my god, he picked Ivy. Okay. Unexpected. Well, I, mean, I didn't think he would pick Ivy, especially after he told everyone he was going to pick Cassandra. I think that was probably the uh, the mind games at play. They're hitting him with that option select. I'm going to pick Cassandra and then straight up picks Ivy at the select screen. It's great. Well, again, like I mentioned, a longer set, a good test of wills here. Here we go. Starting out, Party Wolf with Cassandra. Sane with his his main, Ivy. His old Trading thing. damage right off the bat. Oh, <laughs> he was just talking about that. He has to work that command throw better to make sure he doesn't duck, and he ducked right away. 
I do wonder whether or not Party Wolf may be trying to take some revenge for all of the command grabs that he wasn't able to break by having a character that has two sets of grabs, high and low. Oh, yeah. Here we go, That's able to close it out. I like it, Party Wolf with the first round, drawing first blood here in the set. Is this going to be a test of endurance for both players? I mean, I'm sure they've both played enough first to five, sevens and tens, but uh, it's always more of an endurance test when you've got the adrenaline of a tournament in the background. Oh yeah, and especially if this is something that you've been thinking about and uh, mentally envisioning as you were going to play uh, going into it. Oh, and a big lethal hit with the 2 3 speed, the follow-up, divine action that's starting to come up. That was an absolute godlike 2 3 6. Hits him with the parry into a lethal and then hits him with the 4,000 frame unblockable. Yeah, I mean, the, the hit radius of the unblockable is insane too. Oh, speaking of sane, here we go. Big lethal hit, 6 6 8 combo. Gonna be some pretty hefty damage. And Sains and Soul Charge is gonna do a little bit of extra. Hit him with the shoulder. That rugby player shoulder. Good whiff punish. Sick BB. Man, it's almost back. Christmas. <laughs> Here we no go. Christmas for Ivy anymore. It's like properly minus 14. No pushback. Praise the Okobo. Oh, good CE. And Sains gonna get a round back. Boom. Drops the leg on him. The mighty leg drop, the follow-up here. Again, two rounds to one here. Party Wolf still in good position because having all that meter here. Oh, great soul attack with punish. This is what we love to see from Party Wolf. Oh, oh my gosh, brandishing that unblockable yet again. The follow-up here looking really strong here for Party Wolf in this round. Might be able to close it out. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. That was a pretty swift end of the round. That, that was a very quick round indeed. I mean, Party Wolf... Pulling ahead immediately doesn't mean that Sane's not going to be able to adapt. Of course, he can switch characters if he thinks that he's not going to do well with Ivy. But then if he wins, Party Wolf has the opportunity to switch. So it's anybody's game right now. One game down, you can't really call it. Oh, yeah. Could have gone either way. But again, first match in the history books mm -hmm. as we uh, go ahead and play through this extended set. Again, it's a race to seven. First to seven wins will become our champion here in our main event. And it is, an, um, it is a main event for the history books because, like you say, not only did they uh, did they compete in the LCQ, but now they're facing off and this is a run back. They also fight each other a fair bit online in some of these tournaments, like the Boominati battles. So, uh, you know, that's, that's what I love about this game, right? And how close-knit the community is. If you enter a tournament, you'll probably find a few new faces, but you'll always find the regulars as well. And you can become rivals, you can become friends, you can maybe sometimes even become lovers. But it always comes back to the community aspect of a fighting game. Oh yeah, and that's the thing, is the passion for the game is really what drives everything else. You find that commonality uh, with one another and make it happen. Oh my gosh, the whiff punish on the throw attempt? Here we go. Party Wolf looking to oh. go for a comeback, and again on Oki, able to pull this off. Wow, what a comeback. He is working. pressing buttons. That, that is so sick. I mean, you know, she's Sophia's sister. She's got the power of the gods on her side. How can you compete with that? I mean, that's true. Good reverse. Also, was a stunt double for Captain America, I believe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can't you can't see the hair. It's uh, it's covered by a helmet in the stunt scenes. Yeah. Oh, oh this time breaking it. Oh, Pi Wolf already got one of them mental points above Sane, breaking a command grab for the first time. Oh, and the punish there on the tree, but the follow-up with the lethal hit combo. This is going to be big. See if he's going to be able to cash it in and make sure he gets the round. Oh, yeah. nice stuff. Nice action there. Same able press as many buttons as possible. Interrupting the reverse legend, thinking I have the advantage. Pai was going to try and press a button, and that he did. And Sane was able to get the cut. Oh, counter hit. Then he hits it with the just frames. Sane ain't playing around. Oh, he went for the throw again once again there, but unable to get it. The thing is, I, I even though that Party Wolf has exhibited the ability to break it and even duck it, the persistence, you cannot steal away one of your best tools, regardless of how it goes. Oh, for sure. This is going to be crazy damage. Same might even be able to take this. Always one sliver away. Okubo's magic pixel gets deleted by the long-range whip. Oh, insane right now with the momentum. The thing is, Soul Calibur, such a momentum-heavy game. If you're able to really just take it to your opponent and go in, it can, it can lead to huge results. Right now, working on tying it up here. Zane pops that soul charge. Again, goes for the throw, but the grab, unable to get anything afterwards. 
That's insane. We saw that happen a few times yesterday during the tournament. We had people jumping over each other. Party Wolf just, just exemplifying the hardcore hard read text. Uh-oh. He needs a follow-up here. Using so the 1A. Not Party Wolf to move at all. Oh, there's a lot of meter on Party Wolf's side as well. Oh, that was a big whip punish. The follow-up. Saying not getting just frames. Dropping a lot of damage there. Dropping a bit of Oki as well. 2, 3, 6, 8. Oh. Yeah, that could have been a lot of damage uh, if he was able to pull off the just frame. But unfortunate for him, not able to. And this time, it's Party Central. Here we go. First one to pop. Zane also has full, uh, full meter as well. Getting caught jumping. Zane does have full meter, but it looks like he's trying to be a bit more reserved using it. Oh, Multiple man. opportunities to pop it, making sure he's safe when he can do so. And, and look at that. Just the power of Divinity was able to, you know, really erase a lot of Saints' life. But wow, the reversal edge! Held it down for 40 years, managing to get almost an entire bar back. Hits him with the butt bump. And oh, that's going to connect. Out of the air. Oh, yes, it's not it do will. Much damage, is it? It's not going to do it as much, but it's going to do a hefty amount. Well, okay, maybe not hefty. It doesn't put him. Um... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, it doesn't put him into critical health. But the, uh, the step on did. Oh my Whoa. gosh, and look at this. Same. You absolute oh my bad God. man. Run up CS. To interrupt the Captain America shield throw, only a competitor with the stones to do that would be in Soul Calibur 6. Oh, like that. incredible. Oh, you must have forgot about me. That's what Sane was saying. Like, <laughs> no, no. I, uh, he, he deliberately, in the interview, talked about you know the weaknesses in the matchup prior. Like, oh, he was breaking my throws. He was ducking my throws. But hey, he is winning with them. He's trying to make an exclamation point and try to build a mental checklist here that may affect the the rest of the match who knows i mean that was uh quite controlled in my i would say and you know the fact that he's even using ivy in the matchup it's something that you know i would say no one in the chat probably expected from the outset especially because he straight up lied to us in the interview <laughs> he straight up lied to us in the interview there have been reports of him playing cassandra and just generally other characters besides ivy but you know, it goes back to the age-old thing where you stick with the character you know and you may even perform better if the matchup isn't in your favor. Oh yeah, and look at this. Things are starting to work out. Sane right now feeling much more comfortable going for the grab again. Cheeky cheeky, I like it. Here comes Party Wolf, nice good one. advantage. Because oh. of the wall, never mind. He erases the mental advantage there. One mix-up could do it. Oh, uh, there you go. There's that mental advantage situation, right? You don't know whether or not they're going to go for another command grab. They're going to go for a low or a high, but oh. it doesn't matter because they're going to grab you in neutral with a just frame again. And Sane goes one round up. This is silly. <laughs> this is silly, and I love it. The, the execution's on point. Let me say, I'll just say that. Execution is definitely on point. Oh, man. Party Wolf now fighting. Nice whip punish. Oh, okay. So with the AGI. Hold it down. Oh, oh my Ari god, save. the setup and the bait! Doesn't wow. try and go for the... Co oh, yeah, it goes for the reset instead. Oh, is that going to reach? Oh, it does! Yeah, it reaches and smacks her in the back of the head, and that is the equalizing round for Party Wolf. That has to have an effect. I mean, there was so much work that Sane did in that prior in that round leading up to it, but all erased because of that great reaction there from Party Wolf getting that critical edge. You know how Sane said you must have forgot about me in that last game? That was Party Wolf saying, nah, I didn't forget anything. Yep. I have different tools now, bruh. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, this is going to be big. Big combo follow-up here. Boom, boom, boom. There's those just frames. Oh, oh and so the follow-up chased them down. Oh, man. The, the, the fear of the throw is just changing things now. You could tell it is, is, is having its effect here. Oh, tries to go for a dead. Yeah, goes from a tech crap. This is going to be a lot of damage if Sane can get this combo right. There it is. Puts him into red health. Hits him with that 1A sliver of health. Okubo's magic pixel coming in strong. Smacks him in the head with the shield though. Doesn't break the grab. This is going to be... This might be kill if Pyro gets this right. And it will. Decides to use it all. And look at that. Party Wolf going to be up two rounds to one right now. What a clutch grab and follow up. The power of Divinity. Can't count it out. Power of those Greek gods. OP, OP. Oh, nice wall rising beat to start off. Goes for the jump over. Potentially back turn shenanigans. Nice defense here. But again, that's going to be taking his toll. Flashing yellow now decides to use the soul charge. 
Okay, Sane popping Soul Charge, but actually allowing Party Wolf to create all of this space. Not chasing him down just in case, but uh, your Party Wolf guessing wrong on that situation. And oh it doesn't, my god. Doesn't matter if you try and block Punish because I have my CS locked and ready. He tries to do it again, but a good jump B. He was so greedy there. I like it, I like it. Oh my gosh, just out of range and able to whip punish with the critical aid? Are you serious? He's not gonna die just yet. It's gonna do a bit more damage because he is in guts. Wasn't a counter hit, but Sane's gonna have to be really careful what he does here. Is he gonna try and approach? He's gonna whip punish. Oh, is there whip punish Perfect opportunity to do it, but he doesn't get it. Soul charge for Sane. Wow, what a match. Each and every one of those rounds could have gone either way, but Party Wolf able to pull it off in the end. Wow. Yeah, wow, I mean, wow, wow, saw... wow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I mean, we saw, we saw Sane try and condition Party Wolf with those uh, command grabs. Hits him with one, tries to go for another, but Party Wolf is ready, you see. He's got it, it's in there. And he does a jump B to avoid it. And immediately, you're in your opponent's head when you do something like that. Oh, yeah. And finishing rounds with Cast CE, not only is it stylish, but it's also impactful as well. Oh, yeah, it gets it done. And uh, looks like we're going to go back into the same matchup. He's going to stick to Ivy. And, you know, he I, I feel like he's implanting a lot of uh, a lot of it's just a lot of impact. The, 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 ch the choices that he's making post throw using that 6A plus B, using a lot of the tools that Ivy has in her arsenal. It's uh, definitely going to show up to either make a big effect later on in the match. Because these guys, again, the, the rounds are so close between both of them. You were just talking about Ivy's tool set. That 2 to a lethal hit is arguably one of the best, if not the best, in the game. And uh, Sane using it to full effect. Oh and my like, gosh. Oh, come on, grab. You're going to go right over my body? Let me toss you the other side. <laughs> oh, uh -oh there's another grab him. opportunity. Sane nice. looking for counter hit opportunities. Oh, four as well. Four 3A. You know, as nimble and as fast as uh, Cassandra may be, I feel like Sane has a good read on the timing from Party Wolf. He's been able to use a lot of the pokes in his favor to beat out and counter hit through a lot of things. Oh, trying to go for another 2-2-A two, two, lethal hit. You know, I've also just noticed that we've only had two stages in these four games so far. We've had two uh, two Hilda stages and then uh, two Kaer Morhen. Yeah, we've been... Uh, ooh, there you go. Nice follow up here. Party Wolf tying it up. And now we're back at 1-1. One, one. Both sitting at exactly the same bar right now. Good GI by Party Wolf. Party Wolf shutting down Sane's movement. Hitting him with the 3A at the perfect time. Smart soul charge there. Able to put a stop to some of that momentum. He trade blows. Party Wolf trying to push up the pace here. Sane almost out of soul charge without having to equalize that health. Good opportunity for Party Wolf to come back here. No whiff punish on that. Oh, oh again. Another lethal hit. Yeah, 3B lethal follow up here. Goes for the 1A series. Thought he was going to go for the throw there. Doesn't matter. Oh, man. Really starting to harass with that attack. No whiff punishes. Snipe came. Uh, the follow up. Nice punish there. Able to create some space with her step. And, you know, Ivy has an amazing step here. And again, that 2-2-8 we were talking about earlier, able to really complement the rest of her tool set as well. Oh, oh beautiful gosh. whiff punish. Hits the just frame as well, just to style on him. Get that divine justice, divine force. And there's another 2-2-A. Oh, wow. Sane going for the reset shoulder. Manages to get the advantage. Good 2-A. Party Wolf choosing every single right decision. Oh, no, no punish here, no follow-up. Has him there, follow-up, grounded hits. Oh, what a Can cancel. We... I think that was sick. Uh, he, he... <laughs> I thought he was going to finish the attack, and he ended up buffering in the throw animation. It was coming out instantly, and that was all she wrote. That was, was crazy. I was expecting a cancel. I wasn't expecting a cancel into an immediate command grab. That was super clean. Super. That was insane. Insane. Wow, 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 wow. So, oh, I've just had a, I've had a bit of sound head off. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so considering this matchup between Cassandra and Ivy, immediately you wouldn't actually think that this would be in Cass's favor at all. It would be pretty rough. But in some situations, Party Wolf is even backing off from Saiyan, allowing Saiyan to get some of that space and essentially bring himself his own demise. 
you know, I think Saints' uh, keep out uh, options are really kind of changing the way that Party Wolf is approaching the matchup. And that's, I think, I mean, ultimately control, space control is what Ivy wants to do anyways, right? And Saint is just really showing, because this being his main character for the longest time, showing the mastery of knowing the range of all of her moves, we're seeing, starting to see really Ivy played at a different level right now. It's really beautiful to see. Oh, great whiff punished by Party Wolf. 6BB coming in so strong over this set so far. A set that is incredibly close. You can't call it at all. You know, if one of these players had been 4-0 up, you could kind of maybe say the mental advantage is on one side, but they're both holding really, really strong, making some incredible reads, and I can't wait for the rest of this set. Step on him. Oh, nice interrupt. Oh, A6. Yeah, able to do run counter. Oh, here we go, out of the air. Ooh, look at this. Control of the 3D space, speed. so important. Well, yeah, I mean, being a 3D game and movement being arguably the most important aspects of Soul Calibur, I mean, even when you consider that you take into account games like DOA and Tekken, where their movement is important. The incredible movement that the Project Soul team have given this game means that it's one of the first things that you have to learn. And both of these characters, both of these players, complete oh professionals in their movement. And he's just poking him in the... Well, that's what you get for poking like that. Oh, man. What happens if you poke a lion? Eventually, he's going to go nuts. Exactly. And Cassandra can go nuts in the quickest of ways. Oh, oh speaking of going nuts, Zane trying to take some of that advantage back. We're all tied up. Oh, my. Are, okay. Okay. I respect it. Do it again. Let's just say do it again. That's the theme. Let's, let's see it. <laughs> do it again. I mean, Zane has heard that call for do it again, and he's done it multiple times. There's a cancel oh. follow-up again. What's he going to do? Uh. Saint trying to go for those pokes once again. Party Wolf is ready for it. Here's him with the AGI. Saint's going to want to get out of this situation with a soul charge. And he does exactly <gasps> that. Hits him with the shoulder. And there's the unblockable. What's the mix-up going to be on Wake Up? Goes for the mid. Oh, this could be it. Oh, he went for a GI. Cost him his life. Three rounds straight for Party Wolf. And now Party Wolf is up. Three to two. Wow. Great Party controller Wolf. and great patience at the very end. Oh, yeah, for sure. One game up doesn't mean much in the context of this set because Sane has been trading like a madman. So who knows? Maybe we'll see a character switch, but I'm not confident we will because Sane is doing pretty well on Ivy right now. Oh, yeah. I think until it, it, it really becomes... I mean, the rounds are so close. It's going back and forth. Uh, until it becomes very one-sided, I, I don't think there's a, a need to change characters at this point, you know. It's all about whoever gets the best out of each other in these particular rounds, in these flurries that we've been seeing. Oh, definitely. And I think, you know, we've got the same stage that we've had three times in a row, but it could be anybody's game. Are we going to see another mid-poke bonanza from Sane? Are we going to see some incredible jump-overs from Party Wolf? Who knows? Oh, nice. Able to thread the needle there. Gets the follow-up there. Oh, nice. Oh, God, catches him moving. Oh, no whiff punish on the close range. Divine force uh, expenditure. Oh, oh, hits him with the mid game tea bag, saying all about that reputation destroying action. But I will have none of it. Take this 6BB. And again, another. Close opening round here. Could have gone either way again. Party Wolf squeaking it out at the end. I mean, limited options here for Sane right now. Great call out by Party Wolf to avoid the command grab. Sane's going to be looking for it again. Guaranteed. Any minute now, I can feel it. Oh, yeah. He tried to 3B there again. The follow up here. What's the mix? He's been landing that a lot. I guess uh, Party Wolf trying to figure out a ways to kind of evade the throw option, but also some of the launch options as well. It's just so dangerous, right? Because you need to be relatively close to make the most of it cast his entire tool set. But if you're in close, Sane's just going to try and command grab you or, you know, 3k and kick you right in the junk. Tied up on rounds. <laughs> Making great use of that poke as well. The follow up. Nice 2 3 6 b 6 6 a hold. Both of them making some mind-boggling decisions here. All of them working. Oh, he's able to pull off the soul attack follow-up as well. Now has access to the soul charge attacks. Oh, of course, Divine Force is just too forceful on entry. What are you going to do? Oh, my gosh. Oh. 
just disintegrated the options there. Is Party Wolf going to be able to break away? Will we be seeing him have a party on his own in the Care Morphin stage? Let's see, right now he's doing very well with the lead, not just round wise, but also match wise. It's three to two. Uh oh, it's a counter hit. Decides to pop. You know what they say once you pop, you can't stop. Do not want to waste the resource drain here. Oh, thanks, Mark. Now I want Pringles. Oh, it's D. Influencer status, baby. Let's go. <laughs> too true, too true. All right, Party Wolf trying to space or almost gets the lock, but doesn't matter because he gets the Quake Slot on the follow up movements. He oh, actually nice. was going to try and go for a fully charged unblockable. What a mad lad. But what he's also doing now is creating some incredible space, trying to wanna run away from Sane in Soul Charge. Good GI to uh, stop the follow up. Party Wolf is one run away. Hits him with the mid. Here you go, take this hook kick, and Party Wolf goes two games up on Sane in this first to seven. That was a great momentum stop there. Uh, using the GI when he was, when he did really put a stop to any of the offensive pressure there. He took his turn back, and that was all she wrote. So Party Wolf now with the advantage, with a clear advantage, I would say, even though the rounds still are close, I, mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, uh, if, if there's going to be time for a change, it's probably now, character-wise. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I think that would... Uh, I mean, you know what I was going to say? That might be the, log the logical thing to do, but Sane is not a logical person. He plays Ivy. He buffers command grabs on hit, on block, on movement. Dude is a madman, and we're seeing it in play right here, right now. And we're actually on, on a new stage this time. Here we go. Thought it. New Brand stage, new me. Let's go. Yeah, right? We've got the red costume coming out. Contrasting with the Party Wolf Cassandra Blue. Red versus Blue. The, you know, it's 4-2. Mm -hmm. But again, it's it's a close 4-2. And I feel like, you know, Sane obviously still has... I mean, he's, he's, he's changing up his timing already. Yeah, like right now, you couldn't really say that one person was dominating the other. I mean, perfect example. Sane with the mashup knowledge, understanding the perfect timing to hit Party Wolf out of that shield throw. Yowzers. Let me end your suffering right there. And just a cheeky 1A into another command grab while the death happens. K options on K options. Oh, good 3v with punish. What's the option going to be? He doesn't go for a command grab. This time tries to go for a... Oh, I see. Sane trying to get in Party Wolf's head, but he's having none of it. Party Take Wolf this. deciding to party right now. Goes for the Divine Force activation. Oh, oh. I thought that was out. The classic almost so happened right. right there. Man, Sane is just, he's trying to work with this one move over and over again. I mean, I feel like he's limited in options here just because of how quickly Party Wolf's able to maneuver through a lot of his other pokes. Doesn't want to get caught for a bigger counter hit. I mean, it's also dependent on how confident Sane is feeling because, you know, if he's feeling himself, he can just pop out two, three, four, five command grabs in a row. I mean, as long as Party Wolf isn't punishing them as well as he could do, which he hasn't done in the last couple of games, it could be all Sane if he does that. Oh, big opportunity. Nice 2 3 6 be able to get the punish. <laughs> there we go. Finally lands it, but it doesn't matter because you're going to get Quake stunned again. No follow up. Good soul oh. for Party Wolf. This could be huge. This match, obviously, a very big one between these two because either uh, Sane is going to bring it closer as a set, it would be 4-3, to three, or it could be 5-2, which is obviously going to put some danger in mind. I do wonder if we'll ever see a, uh, a character swap depending on how badly Sane could begin to be beaten. I mean, I mean, I say that, but he's also about to take this third round. One more mix-up, especially at this range, could work, especially if you're an Ivy good Ooh. movement. Nice dash guard, able to avoid the activation, but look at that, two rounds to one. I like what I'm seeing here from Sane. Sane is making some very minute adjustments at the way he's approaching the matchup, and it's been paying off in dividends right now. But how long can you do that? I mean, I feel like you can't do it because it, all of it is based on Party Wolf's timing, and he's been changing it quite a bit. I mean, he hasn't done a fully charged 6B plus K like we just saw there. Very astute observation on the timing switch-ups and the movement switch-ups because, you know, if you get stale, talented players like this will be able to read you a mile away. Yeah, and that's really sometimes half the battle. If you know what your opponent's going to do, you're not going to put yourself in that kind of danger that you would expect. Oh, here we go. Oh, and once again, what you would expect, though, is Party Wolf trying to create as much space as possible after the soul charge activation from sane and managing to tie it up in this game where party wolf could pull ahead by three games
There we go. This is a big round, as mentioned. He's either going to bring it closer as a set. He decides to use Soul Charge. He tried to command grab him right out of the activation. That was a good call by staying there with the cancel. He realized that party will... Oh, and again. He's just playing games now. Oh, he's doing it again. Cancel into Christmas tree. Party Wolf is either laughing his head off or incredibly frustrated by Sane in his disrespect. Uh, Sane having access, of course, to still being able to use that meter decides to pop it. This is going to be the chance to use it all. Okay. Look Sane at the is definitely trying to get in Party Wolf's head. Much more taunting, much more canceling than we're used to seeing from him earlier on in this set. 6 6 BB gets blocked. A good 2 3 6. And into a 6 BB. Party Wolf extends that lead by another game, which means that P-Dubs is in line to take this exhibition, but it's not over yet. Saying so does have an opportunity to come back. He can switch characters and he may be able to bring it back. Yeah, either that or he's going to stick it out with Ivy. Because, I mean, you know, for the most part, when he was on point, he was on point. But again, the evolving nature of the way that uh, Party Wolf has been approaching the matchup and how he's been able to play very defensively up close. But then in... Uh, in just out of nowhere, turn up the offense. It's been working out in a way where it really forces the ball in Sane's court. And how is Sane going to react to a lot of this? Because uh, I feel like Sane has lost control in the, in the up close match. It definitely feels like he's struggling more than he was in the first few games. Because uh, as you know, we were we were seeing them trade one game to one game. They were both making some really good calls and good decisions at every single range. But now Party Wolf just seems to be in Sane's head, even though Sane's been the one taunting, hitting them UB cancels, doing their move cancels, just trying to infiltrate Party Wolf's mental state, but it's just not happening. Yeah, right now, good life lead here for Party Wolf in the opening round. Very important match here, as they all are. I mean, they, they add up. I mean, I feel like the time for testing and feeling out your opponent is done. It's time to go in for the kill. Party Wolf, if he knows what's good for him, he's going to try to end it here. Otherwise, you don't not want to give up momentum to any champion. Insane, very dangerous if he can have momentum on his side. I think it's important to state that they are both champions. They are both top of their game in Soul Calibur 6. They are not to be trifled with. Even though Party Wolf is three games ahead of Sane, it's not like oh, they've been... Is there enough time? Games, and it might be enough time. Oh my gosh. What? Is the timer expired there? Unable to pull it off. I thought, no. he, I thought there was enough time. The nature crazy. of a 60 second round. Yeah. And unfortunately, you know, when you pop Soul Charge, you're able to kind of freeze time there, but they did not have meter to be able to do it. So it all came down to the final hit and it was not in, in time. That was unfortunate. Very unfortunate. And Party Wolf seems to be taking full advantage of having this round about to go two up with the beautiful whiff punishes, putting Sane in a really bad position, health-wise, guard gauge-wise, and meter-wise. Oh, man. Here we go. Sane's still trying to fight back, but he does have a sliver of life. He's going to have to be very careful at how he approaches here. Otherwise, it's going to be a two-round lead for Party Wolf in this match. Oh, and there's a CS. Sane going to be putting himself on the board. That is definitely going to kill. Oh, no, oh, it did it. No, not like this. Oh, man. So that sorry. has to have an effect on him. I forgot that it got nerfed that hard on damage. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Had this been older version, it would have definitely had netted him the kill. Right now, Party Wolf up two rounds here, looking to go up six to two if he can win one more. Nice 1A block on Party Wolf. Not overextending at all. Get that Captain America out of here. Good BB. Party Wolf is just on the offensive right now. Sane is losing control. He doesn't know what to do. He's Guessing Ronan on the 50-50. Yeah, exactly. He has to pop this Soul Charge. All right, here we go. It's the, down to this. They're both going to try to utilize their meter here. Either or Party Wolf is going to play very patient. Oh, there's... Oh, no. Not even close enough. Working with... Oh, that was brilliant. What a series there. Sane saying, well, if one of these command grabs isn't going to work, the other one will. There we go. The mid eventually working, backing off for that 6-6-A hold. I mean, what what can Sane do now? Because even though he's got a life lead in this fourth round, Party Wolf is still looking as dominant as he ever has done. It's just going to come out to outplaying his opponent. He's been able to land that big lethal hit to get him the advantage early in the round, but everything else afterwards has to fall suit. Okay, good luck. No punish. Okay. 
You wouldn't look for, like for an aerial attack there. Was unable to get anything out of it, but they're now both damage output increased. Let's see what they're able to do. Oh, good, good evade there. Nice AA punish. Oh, Adam. catches him stepping. But if we have just been a little bit more patient, would have been able to uh, duck it on block. But we are two rounds apiece in this. Oh. Six, six, oh, okay. Close. No hold. The follow up here. <laughs> I was kind of waiting for a run up CS like we've seen in, uh, <laughs> in previous games. Oh, nice follow up. Here we go. And Party Wolf having two meters now. This could be troublesome. I mean, even if he blocks the... Oh my gosh, look at the damage. <laughs> Very troublesome indeed. Even on block, that chip damage is immense. Oh, nice. Gets the follow-up here. Guaranteed. Oh, is he... I thought he was going to go for the throw there. Sane is actually not confident in that unblockable hitting, so he only did the first hit. Waiting for party. Did you see that punish? Oh, that was horrible. And by horrible, I mean incredible. That is character knowledge and game knowledge on a scale out of this world. It was crazy because Sane thought, like, you know what, I'm going to play the range game. There's no way that uh, she'll be able to punish me for this, but <laughs> Divine Force is coming to play. And uh, that was brilliant. That was a brilliant whiff punish. Definitely locked and loaded, ready to go. Party Wolf now in an amazing position to win the set. In the best position he could hope for, I suppose. I mean, I guess the only better position would be a clean 7-0, but against a competitor like Sane, there's kind of no heart, no heart. There's no hope for ever having a clean sweep like that. Well, he's going to end it with Ivy. Ivy is the only chance here. Uh, and it kind of a surprise from uh, what we were expecting in the matchup. There were no, there was no other characters used other than Ivy, his true main. So this is going to be a very interesting way to end it out if he's able to close it out here. But I believe in Sane. You believe in him. I mean, he is your pick for winning this. I mean, Sane does have to win two more and Party Wolf win one more for my prediction to be correct. Ah, uh, there's another grab. Let's go. Nice. Gets the stomp. Still follow up. Making good use of it, but again, because uh, the life deficit, going to have to be very, very careful. Meter not going to come into play. Time is a factor right now. So have, have to act. Time. Great 2A. So he's going to have to do something drastic here. He's got five seconds. Does he have enough time to buffer a CS if he's going to run up and do it? Party Wolf playing games. <laughs> no, very, very smart play from Party Wolf there, knowing that there's not enough time to really break him down. So he was just playing very defensively, out of range, not even really attempting to take any risks. Back on B plus K for Cassandra, even on block, granting Divine Force. Beautiful step punished by Sane. But now Party Wolf once again using that spacing to his advantage. What's Sane going to oh. do? Get that guarantee, 6 6 BB. Here comes Sane. Sane getting second win right now, doing a great job of really playing the spacing game. Has the life lead here, but I mean, that could change at any moment. Uh-oh. Just like that. Hit. Yeah, exactly. Sane has been hit by those A6 follow-ups after strings all the time. He's just not ready for Party Wolf to keep matching. He's checking those check hits, man. He, it's proving that Party Wolf is ducking up close, predicting when there may be a throw attempt or maybe a high, but it's uh, been kind of validating Sane's checks here. Oh, no way. Sane could have easily done something else, but wanted to run up and step on her. Yeah. That is the finest premier disrespect that you love to see. Here we go. We're near the edge of the ring. Both players are going to have to be extra careful. Oh, and that hitbox able to land. Ivy Classic, no. Hardy Wolf. Oh, oh my is. gosh. He's not going to be at the right angle. Oh, Never mind. He's at the right angle. I thought he wouldn't have enough range, but never mind. Ivy proving me wrong completely. Follow up here. Nice duck into what? Into the throw. That was so sick. That, that'd be how Ivy's do. Good soul charge by Party Wolf. He wants to end this as quickly as possible. He's had to be a final boss in a tournament yesterday, and now he's playing in the longest exhibition match of today. It's got to take a toll on him, but he's also probably enjoying himself a hell of a lot. Oh, he had the hits. Didn't go for the finish. What's the follow-up here? Goes for the cancel again. Party will try and predict it. Doesn't get there in time, but manages to confirm the 6AA. And Sane managing to get a game back, putting himself back in contention 
with Party Wolf, six games to three. I like the adjustments here. You know, I feel like Sane was playing much tighter, doing things that he needed to to be able to close out the match. But then again, Party Wolf was playing kind of loose uh, from what I noticed. Yeah, so. very loose indeed. He's uh, he's using movement uh, a lot more than he usually would have to do. Like Cass has really good plus frames uh, on her verticals. But of course, Party Wolf can't outrange Sane. So he has to kind of force himself in. And then once he's in and he's done that kind of hit and run tactic, get out, make Sane whiff a few things, predict those cancels, and Bob's your uncle. Yeah, I mean, that movement is an extension of her blade. I mean, that is really what's able to kind of close the ground here. Oh, look at this. Going back the other way has the wall advantage. <gasps> no, oh, it but he missed. dropped the combo. He's going to be so annoyed at himself for that one, but he's persevering on. He's pushing forward. Good 2 2k. Uh, that's really the first we've seen of the 2-2K in the series. You know, we saw it a little bit early on, but hasn't been utilizing it at all in the matchup. Okay, Sane coming in strong in this 10th game. Goes for the shoulder check, the follow-up here. Into a normal grab. <laughs> I had enough of trying to buffer those CSs. Oh, the 1K, generous hitbox there. Sane was in a on a side tilt. Sane going nice, almost had the opportunity. Yeah, almost had it. Nice jump attack. Oh, look at Sane's patience right now. Oh, this time netting the hit there with a the counter. No whiff punish by Party Wolf, but getting himself in and then backing off. Doesn't have the life lead, so he's going to have to do something. Excellent call out. And there's the unblockable. Sane's going to have to do something drastic now to get this back. Oh he my gosh, and that was... Uh, he, the just, he, he just let it rip. That was crazy. <laughs> oh, and the bags are out. That was, dare I say it, insane. And then hits him with the tea bag at the end of the round. You gotta love it. You have dare to love I say, it. Turning point. Could this be what Sane needed? Beautiful soul attack with punish. Goes to use the Divine Force superpowers. Oh. oh, this could be big. He might be out of the ring. He will be out of the ring. Look at... Oh, oh no, he wasn't. What, is, what is this spacing? What is this stage? Uh oh, Party Wolf's chance here. Okay. That's how you do it. You got to pop it. Make sure you don't be put in that situation. Oh, look at this. The damage, the follow-up. One more hit can do it. Just frame's not going to be enough. Could GI by Party Wolf, but there's the oh. GI. Oh my god, what a way to end it. Did you see that sequence? <laughs> hey, Sane's not done yet. He's really not. I, I, yeah, I know I should stop. I'm cursing Sane every single time, but you the, know, he's the, coming. The, the curses are helping him. You're like, oh yeah, that's going to be out of the ring. No, let's let him swag out even more and win more convincingly. Oh my gosh. I mean, exactly. Look, he. I said it wasn't going to ring out the first time. It did ring out. Sane won. I said it was going to ring out the second time. It didn't. Sane won. I'm betting against my own interest here, saying that Party Wolf was going to take this five. What did I say? Five four. Yeah, but I mean, in in the interest of having just some great matches, this is working out in such an amazing way. I think, regardless of what the end score is going to be, we have been treated to such a high level display of both of these characters. And man, you know, Sane just really went off that last match. Really went off. <laughs> he really, really did. I mean, you know, you got those unblockables that uh, Party Wolf is throwing out. And then you have the one unblockable that Sane hit him with in that last game, which just took off half of his health. And we're on one of the best stages to possibly close this out. You know what, if Party Wolf wins this, my prediction is correct. It will be the first prediction that's been correct in these entire two days. Oh yeah, a lot is riding on this, but an interrupt there. Went for the A. All right, take to the skies here. Let's see what kind of mix up we're gonna have. Oh, right up into kicks. Goes for the kick. Good whiff punish. Party Wolf pressuring Sane at the wall. Yeah, that 6 BB is so good. Oh, the follow-up here. What's going to happen? Goes for that boot. And the unblockable. That's the one we were talking about yesterday. You have to tech forward and then potentially try and run under or just get up as quickly as you can. And maybe yeah. RI or step or do something. And the thing is, you can't hesitate. You have to take action right away. Mm -hmm. Oh, did the whiff? It did not hit. <laughs> it went Giving outside more the arena. Yeah, not sure who he was fighting. Maybe he was trying to hit Kuroko on the side or something. <laughs> that, that, that's where he eyes when he teleports, right? Yeah. Anyways, here we go. Nice. Gets the counter hit. The follow-up here. Adding more chip damage. 
It's a very familiar scene for Sane. Party Wolf running away as best he can when Sane gets that soul charge, but about to take the second round in the 11th game. Is it going to happen? A cheeky 9A. That's a C. That's got to be block punish. Sane's going to have to. Oh my he god, that's not what he wanted. Punish it. That's going to cost him. He could have taken the entire round and even the score. But now Party Wolf is going to be able to bring it back. Oh, that he missed. Plus K doesn't work. BK plus two. What's he going to do afterwards? A BK again? Oh, what for the mix-up? <laughs> and you got to protect your legs sometimes. But look at this, man. Party Wolf, two rounds up on a set point right now. If Party Wolf can get this round, it's going to be all over. But Sane has been has opportunities for those last two rounds. Could have won each one, but did not seal the deal. Coming back to haunt him right now. Party Wolf going for those grabs. Sane guessing correctly, avoiding even more damage. Good call on the soul charge. He's going to have to do something now. He needs a round to put himself and keep himself in contention. Contention. Oh, got hit by the counter again once. This is not this looking is, good. Sane's going to have to take some action here. This is such a weird interaction because Sane's the one in Soul Charge. He should be pressing buttons. He's just so scared of what Party Wolf's going to do. Great 2-2K. Not going to put him into critical health just yet, but hits him with a CS. This is in Sane's favor right now. Red Guard gauge, critical health. Nice. Oh my God. And look at that, Sane finally on the scoreboard in this match. And still, Party Wolf in good position to win the entire thing here. But Sane is fighting for his life. Oh, okay. Once again, Sane letting that go. Hitting with the oh. mid into a buffered command grab. This is what we love to see from an Ivy. We, love to, we hate to experience it, but we love to see it. The ability to really interrupt oh. your opponent's momentum, especially with one of the most... Oh my gosh, this is big. This is definitely not going to kill, Mark, man. It's not going to kill, but one mix-up could even it up and put us into a final round, and there it is. Here we go. A lot riding on this. It's either going to be 6-5 or it's going to be all over. Oh, and there's a cheeky grab. Go for, he tries to go for a command grab there, but unsuccessful. Soul charge for Party Wolf. He's in a pretty good position, even with that red guard gauge. Is he going to be able to close this out? Nice, he's in red again. This is where it gets really scary. Oh, I, I like it. Use of Divine Force to get out of that nasty situation. I mean, yeah, definitely not a bad idea. Using it to its fullest effect. Then a great break on the command grab. Good to A. Oh, out of range. Oh, here we go. This is where it starts. The blender is spinning. Okay, chat, who do we think is going to be? Party Wolf or Sane? Both sitting pretty, pretty right now. This is going to be the moment. Something's got to give here. Oh, and that's a beautiful whiff punish, and there you have it. Party Wolf takes it 7-4 over Sane in Soul Calibur's online challenge, US East Exhibition. Congratulations, Party Wolf. Oh, man. Good games overall. And again, that was such an exciting set. Sane was really starting to turn it up there. You know, uh, Sane obviously was down by a lot more, but able to close it down. Uh, could have It could have gone either way if he won that last round. That could have been crazy. Uh, yeah, Sane had the opportunity to come back. There were multiple times where if the game had just given him those extra few pixels or if that combo hadn't dropped or that block punish didn't go un or that block didn't go unpunished, he could have been there. But unfortunately for him, it just wasn't his day, but it was 100% Party Wolf's day and Party Wolf's weekend. It's oh, been yeah. amazing for him. Final boss and winning the final set of the exhibitions. Party Wolf has to be feeling good. But again, it's been a great weekend for the Soul Calibur Online Challenge. Yesterday, we had our tournament. Today, just finishing up our exhibitions. And, you know, we even had that special message from uh, Okubo-san and the team. So it's been, again, fun-filled weekend. There's another Soul Calibur Online Challenge happening later this month for Europe. So I hope mm -hmm. everyone looks forward to that as well. But again, we are going to try to get both of these players who we just saw battling out on the line so we could go ahead and talk to them. But I got to tell you, Dan, it's been such a great weekend. Again, it's been a pleasure having you on commentary as well to really showcase your knowledge and your passion about the game. Well, thank you so much, man. Like I said yesterday, uh, it's been an absolute honor doing this. I mean, just, you know, I started off commentating some of these online tournaments. I got given a chance uh, and that's all it really takes is if you're good at something and you persevere, you can make movements. I mean, I'm on a, I'm on the Soul Calibur channel commentating alongside Markman on a Tenno event for Soul Calibur 6. Like, there's not much more I can say aside from just thank you to everybody involved. Thank you especially to Markman for being such a gracious person, um, being super chill. And thank you to everybody uh, who's watching and competing.
I, th I think we have the players on the line. So, Sane, yes, we do. Party Wolf, thanks for showcasing such a wonderful set. First off, Party Wolf, congratulations on the victory. I know yesterday you were our final boss, and today showing why you were the final boss by winning that amazing set between you and Sane. And Sane, thanks for playing, and uh, it was nice to see your Ivy again. I was not expecting that. So, first off, Party Wolf, how do you feel? Uh, I feel a little fantastic. That was really fun. Uh... <laughs> He did get some really cheeky moments in there. Where, uh, I got hit by the 2 and 4 a.m. block, the, the wind-up one that uh, all my life and shouldn't hit anybody for, for <laughs> in a reasonable context, but he managed to get it. Um, aside from him styling on me in, in, in key points, you know, it was a very fun game. I think we were both pretty flashy, and uh, I hope it was fun to watch. I definitely oh, yeah. had a good time watching it. And Dan, I know I know you have some follow-up questions that you want to ask both of these players, but oh. I got to say, just seeing that 2 on 4 unblockable, the, the deceptive range, it was just like, it's not going to hit. It's not going to hit. It hit, and then I went nuts. Oh, I have so many questions, but I will limit them so that we uh, allow people to take a break from some Soul Calibur. So, Party Wolf, today you've managed to beat Sane 7-4. Yesterday you are our final boss for the Open Tournament. How are you feeling about both of those victories? Because not only were you fighting two of your good friends, but you're showing yourself, you're showing how good you are on the Soul Calibur channel. And just, yeah, just how you feeling, basically. Um, I feel really good about it. Uh, it I kind of feel like in Season 2, it's been really hard for me to play Keelik, just as a player. Um, I don't know if Keelik's necessarily a bad character, but I'm just not very good with him anymore. Uh, and thankfully, with the changes to Season 2 overall and the buffs to Cassandra, because she is a much better character than Season 1, um, I feel like with the amount of time and effort I put into her, I feel like I'm a better player now than I was um, back when I first started playing uh, Soul Calibur 6. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it, this yeah, uh, well, helps confirm it. Well, yeah, we've seen you uh, pull off some incredible placements uh, over the course of your Cassandra playtime, but Sane. Going back to Ivy, an incredible display of Ivy's skill and knowledge and character understanding. But we know that you've been seeing, uh, you've been playing some Cassandra, you've been playing some other characters here and there. What made you go with Ivy for this game? I went with Ivy because for the past, like, season two, all of it, I've been having a character crisis in the sense that I haven't been executing Ivy how I wanted to. So I picked up Cassandra and Setsuka to better understand the game. And I feel like that helped me with this matchup despite losing. And I feel like I am able to land the flashy stuff. And that's the big, biggest struggle with Ivy that her best stuff is the most riskiest. So I was happy that I was able to land a lot of the risky, risky stuff. I wanted to win. I really wanted to win. And um, Party Wolf's movement was insane. Usually I'm able to control someone's movement with Ivy, but he wasn't afraid to move around. And that was crazy to me. Yeah, we could definitely see the movement. Uh, I mean, we made several comments during the commentary of your set where it was just like Party Wolf was backing off as much as he could where you were popping that soul charge and the incredible sidesteps into those full crouch three Bs and those wall rising Bs just, just spot on. Uh, but Sane, I do have to ask you, is there a character that you'll be maybe going back to or maybe pursuing after today? Or will you be going back with Ivy? Because it's an incredible display. I mean, going, going up against Party Wolf is no mean feat and getting four games, that's great. So are there any other characters that you're considering picking up or will you be going back to Ivy? What's the plan? Playing this playing this match with Party Wolf actually is very, um, it made me realize that I am an Ivy main. I play her very smoothly an online set, um, it just comes naturally to me. I haven't been training with Ivy as much. I've been training with other characters and I'm gonna be maining Ivy from now on. 214A shenanigans are <laughs> way too strong and SS is ridiculous. Like it just, it lands, it's like butter and I just hope they don't nerf that. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. An incredible Punishment display from that. both of I'm you. I'm gonna see that 214A clip spam. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be tweeted to you. <laughs> Even though I lost, I got it in. I was happy about that. All right. Yeah. I, Sane, I got to ask you, you know, how have you been feeling lately about the game? Uh, are there any shout outs that you want to give to either your community or people that you play with? And where can we find more about you? It's been a while since I've seen you play, so it's always nice to, you know, be graced by your presence. It's really nice to see you. Well, I, I really appreciate that. I want to compete more, and I'm very grateful to have this opportunity. 
I haven't competed as much as I want to because I've been caught up with other life stuff. Uh, you guys can find me on my YouTube channel. I've been video editing with Ivy. Um, I'm on Twitter always talking about how Ivy is the best SoCal of a character. Uh, <laughs> she is. like, There's no other better character than Ivy. I want to give a shout out to also um, my team. Um, I've been very um, sad because I wanted to always main Ivy and I kind of burned out with Ivy back in April and I just didn't know what to do. And uh, Dynamic Focus and Aziza really said, just take a break. And that's what I've been doing. I took a break and I'm glad I took a break to come back because even though I lost, I feel like I'm, I played exactly how I left off a couple months ago. It feels like me when I'm playing and that's what I'm ultimately proud of. Um, that's how I feel like I play Ivy. I feel like I cosplay her while I'm playing her while all sitting there you down. Go. Become I one with your character. Playing Ivy. Yes. And also, I just want to thank also other people in the community. People are always at, telling me to stream, but I'm always tired. But I, Ivy makes me come back. Ivy and being creative with Ivy, whether it be playing or content, is when, why I come back. Also, shout out to, lastly, Zanakin, the top 50 Raphael player in the Northwest Europe. And that's it. I'm done. Punishment time. <laughs> All right, Party Wolf yourself, I know you had a chance to give some shout-outs yesterday. Any new shout-outs or anything, any takeaways from this and anything you just want to address to the Soul Calibur community? Um, sure. Uh, just to reiterate again, um, the community uh, has been doing a really good job of uh, persisting and competing despite the uh, pandemic, uh, which is shows uh, that the community is really tough, really loves the game, uh, and that's really nice to see. Uh, and I'd also like to shout-out my sponsor, AXL, Accelerate Gaming. Um, and that's about it. Uh, and thank you for playing me, Sane. That was really fun. Hey, it was fun. I actually enjoyed it. Need to play more. All right. Well, hopefully we'll get to see more of you guys as we do more of these challenges in the future. And again, it's been a pleasure having you both. You guys are both amazing players. And I hope everyone that was paying attention follows them, gives them a follow, and uh, make sure you guys check out their content as well. But we will see you guys next time. Thanks again for joining us. Hey, boys. Thanks, guys. Bye. Wow, wow. So, Dan, oh. I got to say, it was uh, uh, we were not accurate with most of our predictions throughout the day. I mean, we got some wins here and there, but you got you you got the final win. But I got to say, we uh, the big win is, you know, just seeing the Soul Calibur players being able to come together, not just through the chat and view the viewing experience, but just seeing 